Hello everybody, my name is The Chef and welcome back to another One Piece Bounty Rush video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at everybody's favorite creepy monk with a big smile on that BBC. Uh, he's also rocking some sick fucking ice around his neck. Uh, that man would be uh, Mad Monk Rouge. Now this uh, character was actually requested by a few of my Alliance members actually, uh, Yonko and Fate. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this one. Um, so Arouge, he's actually a very, very, very solid defender. He's one of those characters that you don't want to just judge by his appearance because, uh, man, this guy can actually tank so well. Like even up there with like the top uh, tank uh, defender units. Um, he doesn't really have any outstanding like damage reduction traits. However, he does get an insane amount of uh, defense every time he gets hit. Um, a little bit of a boring character to play for me personally, but uh, again, this guy survives like pretty damn well. Uh, he's got a counter, which I like to call his donkey punch. So when he's not swinging around that BBC, he's pretty much punching people in the back of the head. Um, he also, yeah, th this move right here knocks people back, his skill too. Uh, does pretty decent amount of damage. Um, uh, so yeah. Arouge, uh, this is the type of character you want to fight um, people that have like multi-hit attacks. So if you ever see Snake Man doing that attack where he punches the ground and does his area of effect, you want to jump right in that bitch and just tank all those punches. Because as you can see on top of the HP bar, my defense uh, meter there, um, once he gets below a certain HP threshold, you get defense and attack buff by like 50% I believe. Um, and the more hits you tank, uh, take, the higher his defense grows up to a max of 50%, I believe. So once you see that defense uh, at the bottom there with two uh, arrows on top of it, I think that's his like, max uh, defense, like as we can see right now. So anyways, enough about that. Let's just get into knocking some dudes out with this big fucking, this big column. Uh, so we're just going to stand in the middle here. Uh, pretty much wait for any, any man to really try to press us because... Uh, as a Rouge, you shouldn't be really scared of anybody, not even Blackbeard. This guy is so disgusting when he gets that, like, full defense. Uh, you know, unfortunately, if people do hit you with a shot that, like, ignores defense or has, like, major, major damage, uh, it can actually do quite a lot to you. Uh, but typically, most skills don't really have that kind of uh, potential. Like, Lucci's there is really fucking strong, especially uh, when he's got his attack buffed up. So that was a little bit unfortunate, but we will go over there and squash that kitty. Uh, just you wait. Uh, look at him, he's got that creepy, like, I don't know, pedo smile. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. Uh, but we're just going to run right back into battle and we're going to get our sweet revenge. Um, so yeah, uh, once he dies, he loses all of his defensive uh, buffs that he just had previously. Um, so it's good to just run into a character who you know you can tank some damage from like For example, I'm, I'm just gonna punch that kitty out of the way We're gonna try to hit this that fucking Sanji hit us with that massive kick, which was uh, not very nice of him So we are gonna hit him with our BBC crushing him uh, this kitty over here is running amok as usual uh, This fucking shanks unfortunately does hit us, but look at our skill our, our counter ability is gonna pop up again right white quick so uh, we're just going to sit here in the middle, we knew somebody was coming, we punched Shanks right in his nose, breaking that little puny jaw of his, uh, and we're just going to pretty much sit in the middle here and try to hold it down with my boy uh, Marine Ford Luffy. Uh, luckily that Blackbeard sucked those guys out of that uh, area as well, because it looks like they were about to capture it. So we got the MVP, I believe we got two captures, two kills, I think I cut the uh, video early there, uh, which is, I don't know, just my mistake. Uh, but this round... They have quite a few uh, interesting characters over there, uh, most of them being uh, our uh, type disadvantage. So we're gonna have a little, we're gonna have a good time fighting against uh, people who are weak against. Um, he doesn't, Arus doesn't have any like outstanding traits either. Like he doesn't, he's not immune to stun or paralysis or uh, or not paralysis, uh, shock or a flame. So if you can hit him with those type of abilities, it's actually quite nice because. Um, it will chip away at his uh, health, and I know he's monstrous. I did just pound that uh, big mom with this BBC uh, back shots, uh, and I'm also going to pound this diaper baby. <laughs> sounds that sounds wrong, so I'm going to take that back. Uh, we're going to stand in the middle here. Uh, Enel's a little force field or like electric field on the ground there can actually trigger his counter, uh, even if you're standing in there. 
Like, we want to eat all of those shots. Like, if you're playing a Rouge and you're fighting Katakuri, just jump right in that bitch. Uh, again, the more he gets hit, the tankier it is. I think I already got my max defense. Now, look, he's punching me for, like, single-digit damages. Uh, double digits, maybe. Uh, I gotta run that back, but... Uh, still, not really much at all. We're gonna pimp-slap this dude with our BBC and send him back home. Uh, and we're gonna try to hold down this flag again. Props to this dude for using fucking Nipple Frankie. That Frankie's pretty legit. He does actually pretty decent damage for a free-to-play unit. Uh, we were gonna go knock this Snake Man out, but uh, unfortunately uh, we didn't get the chance to. Uh, we do see this nice fucking feast over here though, and I'm down with a feast any moment, any time. Uh, run in here, we're gonna f try to go fight this Diaper Baby again. Uh, if he does hit us with that shock like he did there, it's quite shitty. But uh, again, look at the he's not really doing much damage to us. We're gonna pop that counter off though, because we are in that force field. Um, so it's also the same thing if you jump into Snake Man's uh, area of effect. He can pop the counter off even if Snake Man is not there. Uh, so it is quite nice for those types of things. So again, like every time we get hit as well, <laughs> we're getting our counter back so fast. And every time we counter, we heal. So again, this character is just not to be slept on, man. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have fought... Look at that, the double donkey punch. I'm sure a lot of you guys have uh, fought them and just like wondered why they aren't fucking dying. It's because they're they can heal and they can counter and their defenses are fucking monstrous but again if you do want to take these dudes out uh ignore damage skills with or ignore defense skills that do huge damage that are single shot moves those are the ones you want to go for uh we were going to bait this dude out i was expecting him to punch me but uh we still got that hit off anyways the, <laughs> unfortunately our law just got trampled by that fish he should have been going to protect the middle flag there uh, I didn't really need a hand over here. I can take care of myself. I'm a big boy. I got that big black column. And uh, we're going to just lay the fucking column into this Frankie's skull. Leaving a little snail trail on his nose. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, he, he's not going to be killing too many people. But you are going to be saving your team, uh, you know, a big headache by fucking guarding all those flags. Uh, so we got one and one there. Uh, this is the support I'm using on him. Defenders, Paramecia, Captain, Grand Line as usual. I always love that Grand Line tag. Um, if you can get zone, that would be really nice too, but... Um, you know, it's kind of hard, difficult to run zones. There's not that many zone characters. Uh, so, I'm running Kaido and Marco because I can get more skill 1 cooldown uh, if my team dies and also if, my, if they're hitting me. So... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the metal set I'm running. You can do better metal sets. Double Kaido is quite nice as well. Um, but, you know, with that, I'm just going to leave the skills and traits as usual. Uh, if you guys like the video, please like the video and uh, subscribe for more of this uh, <laughs> One Piece Bounty Rush content. I was going to call it BBC content, but uh, that's, that's another website. So yeah, peace.